Welcome to Why Though the Podcast. Hello. Hello. Welcome to Why Though the Podcast. I'm Lizzie Acker. She is the Lizzie Acker, the advice <laughs> giver. I'm Destiny Johnson. Welcome to Why Though the Podcast. Thank you so much for joining us. Why wow. are you? I am feeling good. I'm 41 now. Wow. Yeah. So a whole year older, a whole year wiser, a whole year so ready much to give wisdom, more advice. So much wisdom that I am ready to put on the people and help them with. Maybe I didn't get better at talking, but I did get wiser. I so <laughs> I do love that. Um, I will be 31 in two days from this recording. We're recording on a Monday. This comes out on Thursday, so I'll be freshly 31 years Happy old. Happy birthday, Destiny. Thank you this so is much. a Libra's only podcast yes, at this point. Yes, Libra's only. Someday we're going to have guests if we can figure out how to do that but um yeah we've had a little bit of technical difficulty in that area but if you are any other astrological sign um you can listen yeah and you can ask questions and you can text me and Mm -hmm. tell me i'm wrong about the astrological signs if you want to to be quite honest my um astrological knowledge is pretty limited to libras um and virgos uh which um i have dated a lot of virgos okay and I would say I really I really like female Virgos. I think that they are I, I don't date women, but um <laughs> you know, uh-huh. I th- I get along well with female Virgos. I feel like they're very organized, driven people and I like uh, like a good leader. Mm-hmm. Um male Virgos are a a deep problem in my life and I avoid them. Mm-hmm. No offense if you're listening in a male Virgo, feel free to text me and tell me why I'm wrong. Uh just text the word advice to 503-751-8731 and then click the link and subscribe. I'm married to a Libra now. Oh, I love that for you. I don't know a lot about um, astrological signs, um, but I do date women. I don't know why that felt <laughs> like I should say that. Thanks for adding that, though. That's all I had to add to that conversation. Um, my best friend is very into astrological signs, so I try to keep up. Yeah. I guess that's that's what I have to add to that. I um, She's into, like, tarot cards nice. and stuff like that, so I try to keep up with that stuff but i don't know a lot about it um but i am open-minded and you are a libra and i, I am so i used to live in san francisco which mm-hmm. is um everyone there i lived there for eight years so i you can't not like soak up some astrological interest and yeah. i did the job i worked most of the time i was there after i got hired my boss was like asked my birthday she's like oh you're a libra thank god i wanted to hire a libra so badly but i couldn't ask that's <laughs> so funny um that's so funny because uh to say that it's more woo woo than portland because oh god it as is. we've yeah. already covered i'm from florida i'm so sorry <laughs> um and uh, i think portland's really woo woo yeah. so um <laughs> Fran- san I- I francisco definitely takes it to a- another level mm-hmm. and I-, I will also say that i have the same birthday as mark Marin and um mm. lil wayne lil wayne and i were on the exact same day that's right lil wayne. and um i one time this is my last wooey thing about astro astrology mm-hmm. i was listening to this interview with mark Marin, and he was talking about himself and i was like wow i have a lot in common with mark Marin." like the way he was talking i was like i really feel like i am like mark Marin." and then i looked up his birthday and we have the same birthday that's funny he's, he's older than me obviously he's an interesting guy yeah i don't remember what it was that made me feel like so like we had similar experiences and i forget what it was this was years and years ago and yeah it wasn't interviewing the president i have never interviewed a president oh okay (laughs) well but let's do some advice yeah i was gonna say we do have some advice um while lizzie's never interviewed a a president she has given a lot of good advice um you can find some of that prior advice at organlive.com slash why though w-h-y-t-h-o but also here at this very podcast right now right now it's We're gonna happen to right now um we have a, a brand new question which is very exciting yeah. we love it when you send questions you can send text questions. Lizzie, que- lizzie questions <laughs> and um also email them to her um her email and my email will be in the description below you can send me a question in any way you want yeah except maybe coming to my house please don't do that um yeah you could sky it send a pigeon <laughs> a carrier <laughs> pigeon i would love if you sent a carrier pigeon that'd be honest. pretty cool um are you ready lizzie i'm ready All right, here we go. It says, Dear Lizzie, help me. I get really upset when people are alone whistling or singing in public. For instance, if there is someone at the grocery store whistling, humming, or singing under their breath in the aisles, I feel extremely violated. I know that I must sound like I'm attacking other people's joy, but I promise I'm not. 
As someone who was diagnosed over three decades ago with ADHD, I am, a, I am proud of my own skills developed in the area of vocal stimming, but I wish people knew there was a time and place. Is there a polite way to tell people to zip it without being terribly rude? Also, they note, no earphones and earplugs are not an option or solution. I shouldn't have to dis- detach or dissociate in behalf of... I think they meant on behalf (laughs) of their uh, (laughs) unsocialized impulses. Uh, Lady who wants you to shh in public. (laughs) Okay. Okay. It's a question. Mm -hmm. Well, this is interesting. It's Mm -hmm. not something that I find personally annoying, Mm -hmm. but I can see why someone might find um, people whistling or singing in public annoying. Mm -hmm. Um, I think there's some interesting things in this question, you know, like the writer says that um, she herself was diagnosed with ADHD and has overcome some vocal stimming. Yeah, I think they they say that they're proud of their vocal stimming. I think they're proud of overcoming it. No, I I, I think it says that they're proud of their own skills developed in the area of vocal stimming is in they can vocal stim with the best of them really but they're saying that <laughs> they control them in public okay that's yeah, yeah okay yeah, yeah, so yeah, that, yeah i guess that's what i'm saying like it seems like she's saying that she's proud of her ability to control yes her control impulse in public. yeah to, definitely to, and so i mean so I if she can why can't they exactly yeah. and i do think that sometimes um the things that really annoy you about other people are things that annoy you about yourself yeah you know what i mean it's like um it's something you notice mm-hmm. that you might not have noticed, but I do think, or something somebody's told you is not yes. favorable, right? And maybe, yeah, maybe she has been told sure. this that it's it wasn't okay. So then she sees it in other people, and it's like, why do they get to do it when I can't do it? Mm-hmm. Um, maybe I mean I don't know. Yeah, I think um, I will say I I pretty much frequently come back to this. Mm. There is only one person you can control. And that person is you. Mm -hmm. There are situations um, where, you know, there is inappropriate noise that you can demand someone stop making. Sure. It's still hard. I mean, you could live in an apartment building and Mm -hmm. the people upstairs from you are having a dance party at 3 Mm a.m. That, I don't think it's unreasonable to ask them to be quiet. Right. But even in that situation, I think, like... The first time you might have to let it go. The second time m- you might want to think about strategies for approaching that person. Mm-hmm. But we're talking about someone you're just walking by at the grocery store mm-hmm. and you don't live next to this person. You don't know that person. Right. Usually. Right. You're ambulatory. Mm-hmm. My advice is walk away. Sure. Sure. <laughs> I don't think it's pretty simple. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you can't control the environment you're around. Yes, that's true. But you can control the way you respond to it. Also true. Hard to remember when you're feeling irritated. Yes. Yeah. And I also, I don't have ADHD. I do. So maybe you can educate me (laughs) a little bit on how this might be more annoying and difficult than I'm imagining. Yeah. So I was talking to Lizzie, just, you know, we debrief just a little bit before we start Mm -hmm. the pod. So we don't wander for an hour (laughs) listlessly. Um, So I was telling Lizzie that when you have ADHD, I'm very sound sensitive. So um, sometimes a sound is not just a sound. Sometimes a sound is in my entire body. It's the only thing I can hear it feels like it feels like it has taken over all of my senses one time um, I was taking a a test in economics in college and I couldn't complete the test I should say I was a very successful student not to brag Mm -hmm. Um, it doesn't brag I'm literally Um, way gonna be 31 it's been a long time since (laughs) I was in an academic (laughs) setting Um, but I couldn't complete the test because I could hear the clock ticking in the classroom this was a huge auditorium with hundreds of students in it and it was like I I was the clock ticking. It was in my body. It was in my brain. Mm-hmm. And it is such a hard thing to um, explain unless you've experienced it. And it's, it is it is definitely in conjunction when my anxiety is high, my coping skills have sort of fallen away. Mm, okay. 
And so um, something like going to the grocery store when my anxiety is very high becomes a little difficult. Yeah. Um, I'm medicated for the things that are the matter with my brain and yeah. I probably will be for m- my whole life. And, mm-hmm. and I'm, I'm lucky that one, I can afford the medication too. Mm-hmm. It, it works really well for me. Mm-hmm. So, um, but I've been in a place where I've gone to the grocery store and the idea of going inside is so overwhelming. All the lights, all the sounds, all the people, uh-huh. um, that I've had a panic attack in the grocery store and turned around and gone home yeah. and not gotten my groceries. Right. Um, now I'm better equipped because I, I, I can prepare myself for the amount of noise and the lights and the people. Right. How do you do that? Um, fortunately <laughs> for a lady who wants people to shh in public, I control my surroundings by listening to music that I want to listen to or mm-hmm. a podcast or a book. Mm-hmm. I do put in headphones. That doesn't mm-hmm. mean that I don't talk to strangers. Right. Um, you know, if I see somebody who needs help, sometimes this backfires. I've <laughs> once mentioned this lady. I feel like we talk about this lady all the time. Who's part of my if you're lore. This lady, text me. <laughs> part of the lore, the lady who one time told me that I had a mom bod and maybe I shouldn't wear leggings. But anyway, mm. you know, I, I will talk to people in the grocery store. Yeah. Um, you know, but I wear headphones and I listen to what I want to listen to. Because it's just one less thing that I have to control in my environment. Right. It puts me at ease. Mm-hmm. Um, and I I make a list so mm-hmm. I know what I'm going in for. Right. I, you know, I make sure that I go at a time of day when I know that there's probably going to be parking. Mm-hmm. Um, I make sure to go not at the very be- first day of the month if I can avoid it. Because right. that's usually when SNAP benefits come through. And uh-huh. I know it's going to be really crowded. Uh-huh. Um, so or if you're going to New Seasons, don't go on Wednesdays. That is the day of the senior discount. There you go. <laughs> so like stuff like that. So you, there are things that you can do to mitigate your own misery when you have to do these things. And right. if you know that something like this, like singing or whistling in public, drives you insane. Right you can solve this problem for yourself. Mm -hmm. Like the other people aren't the problem. Your irritation with this is the problem, unfortunately. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I think that that might be the case. Like it's, it's, um, it's totally fair to feel annoyed by this. I think it's totally fair and I completely get it. And like, like you're explaining destiny, you know, sometimes some people have this heightened experience of sound and it's totally it sucks and it's reasonable and you know what i wear headphones to the grocery store a lot of the time i don't i don't have adhd but sometimes i just feel i actually have had a panic attack in the grocery store too (laughs) like it it is an overwhelming adhd like (laughs) yeah like i mean well when i stopped breastfeeding my hormones went so wild it changed my i mean i would like i never had panic attacks in my life no one ever talks about this by the way Mm -hmm. but um when you stop breastfeeding like things change it's so um, awful. especially if you were doing it for three years and you yeah. have like been really so coasting sudden, on that yeah. like um those nice chemicals that right. come from it um anyway yeah I, I just remember like being in the grocery store and all of a sudden i was freaking out like what is happening oh, to no. me yeah um but anyway uh I, I sometimes just like don't feel like interacting with people yeah and and, it's very fair and i think too. the thing you, you know they have the technology air er- earbuds Mm -hmm. are great because it's like you can put them in and they give people the impression that you're not listening to them right (laughs) don't don't really talk to me right now please don't talk to me yeah but you still can hear enough that it's like safe i think Mm -hmm. um and um i know i know that this person from this letter clearly doesn't want us to give this as a solution but what i'm gonna say is you say at the end what does she say there at the end um it shouldn't be. Her, shouldn't she shouldn't have, have to, to detach diso- or dissociate on behalf of uh, of their unsocialized yeah. impulses. Okay. I don't understand how whistling or singing is unsocialized. Well, it makes her uncomfortable. We'll say that. Okay. But but yeah. I do think like, yeah. Why is your comfort more important than their comfort? Sure. And, you know. There again, I'm going to go back to only you can control yourself. Mm -hmm. You cannot control other people. You could tell people to stop. You might get a dirty look. You might have. They might be like, "Oh, I'm sorry." You might make someone feel bad about themselves. You might not doing anything. They might hit you in the face. Like I don't know. I try not to um, like confront strangers about anything. (laughs) I also just don't. I just don't understand what the goal would be to ask somebody to stop because. 
the din of noise that happens inside of a grocery store, right. be it the pushing of carts or the murmur of people talking or the the you know the ringing of the cash register, it's all sort of background noise. So if somebody's contributing to this background noise, it's all it's all there. So mm-hmm. whether someone is talking or someone is singing under their breath, if they're holding a full on musical level, you know, singing the right. rain, you know, like that's different. But if they're singing to themselves or whistling to themselves as they're walking past you in an environment where you're going to spend an hour to an hour and a half, God Max. forbid, tops. Yeah. <laughs> like they're just contributing to the background noise. Would you tell right. somebody to stop having a conversation, even if, even if that conversation was loud right. at, a, at a volume that you would find maybe unacceptable? I'm like a very soft talker. Mm-hmm. I find most people's conversations to be too loud for me. Right. Mm-hmm. I would never tell somebody to stop doing that. That's their right. business. They can do. So like it, it, I would say it's inappropriate to tell somebody to stop doing whatever they're doing. Yeah. No, I, th- I think so. Yeah. I, I mean, I don't, I think it's probably inappropriate and also you're not going to have any success. So yeah. like, I think it's more, and we're saying this is grocery store. Maybe this is happening in other places, but we're just like sticking with grocery store, which I think is a pretty good example of a place right. you mingle with people you don't know. It's like a transient social environment. Yeah. I think like you do have options. Y- you walk away from them. Mm-hmm. You suck it up and listen to something else on your headphones. Mm-hmm. You order groceries. Mm-hmm. You know, like you don't have to go to the grocery store. That's true. <laughs> you can order. I love grocery delivery. Yeah, you can you. get groceries delivered. If yeah. it, if it, I mean, I'm, I don't want to like minimize your experience here. No, I'm saying, no, I, I understand totally that this is like very difficult for you. That that feeling of, I think, violation mm-hmm. is that word. Like, I know that it sounds really dramatic, mm-hmm. but like I can only equate it to that time in econ, right? Where I just like. I was the ticking clock. Right. <laughs> it was nothing else but the ticking. I know that feeling. It is so over dramatic. Right. It's it it is so all encompassing and mm-hmm. it is like infuriating. You're right. infuriated that you can think of nothing else. You're infuriated that you can feel nothing else. And it makes you want to throttle that thing. And <laughs> unfortunately <laughs> in this <laughs> case that thing happens to be another person. Right. Yeah. In my case it happens to be a clock. Right. Um like the clock you can do nothing about it yeah that's the thing is like you can spend a lot of time being angry that the world won't won't change to suit all of your needs and your brain won't change yeah yeah o- or you can change like you can change your environment right you can mm-hmm. change or you can change how you're responding to the setting so like um you you can't like everyone is allowed to be at the grocery store yes loud people smelly people mm-hmm. um mean people nice people house people unhoused right. people mentally well people mentally yeah. unwell people yeah i mean honestly like someone whistling at the grocery store there can be a lot worse things happening at the grocery oh, yeah. store i've seen We've it seen yeah um and so this one you i think that it's in within your power Mm-hmm. to do something about it to change your reaction to the situation mm-hmm. and um i think we've gone over those headphones yeah. go order, order groceries or just walk away and i i just want to say too um i understand that you feel like that your phones earplugs things isn't really an option because you feel like you're acquiescing to what somebody else is doing or that they're in the wrong um and i do understand this feeling and uh, this is not like doctor advice or anything like that you know what I mean like (laughs) like everybody's issues with the world whether it stems from their mental health issues or not Mm -hmm. their neurodivergency or not um is different but like I know that I personally I'm so I'm just going to say this for my own personal like journey I guess Mm -hmm. um I sometimes struggle with using things or doing things that help me greet the world um more easily because Mm -hmm. I feel like it's a cheat. I Mm -hmm. feel like I am taking the easy way out. I feel like I am, um, like succumbing. Yes. I feel, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I I feel like capitulating to somebody else. Yeah. 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 And I, I feel like, Oh, well, if I do this, then I am just, um, you know, I'm not doing it the way that everybody else would do it. And thus, um, you know, I'm, cheating in a way right. or i am um i don't know a lesser person right. for putting headphones in right you know, or people are just like, yeah. walking around in the grocery store you mm-hmm. know just you know raw dogging the noise <laughs> and, the lights and, the, and talking to people and like whatever else in the world and like i can't do that yeah you know like just make it easy for yourself right life is difficult right the world is hard and if these things make your life easier just make your life easier you deserve 
to like just go into the grocery store and get your chips if that's what you want. <laughs> right, exactly. And there doesn't have to be like a bad guy and a good guy here or a winner and a yeah. loser. You know, I feel like this, this, yeah, whatever this, that looks like. This like listening, maybe listening to your headphones feels like you're letting someone else win. But this is not a winning, losing situation. The only winning here is you being able to go into the grocery store and get what you want. Right. Yeah, and not wanting to like punch a stranger. S- right. In the face. So just yeah. just do the thing that makes it easier for you. I think you're absolutely right. Like for that. Real. That's like it, nobody. You're not giving in or letting someone else win. Right. By making it easier for yourself. Yes. That's uh, yeah. That's a much better way of putting what <laughs> I was trying to say. <laughs> well, like, yeah, yeah. yeah. You're not <laughs> that's like that's why we work together. It's not here, like a cop out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So I think like I think you can do this. I think you know. Let us know get back to us yeah if that's not the advice that you wanted please yeah like yeah, text, text me Lizzie or yeah text her <laughs> here wait i'll give you or the number yeah you, there's a number or you, like i said you could email her her information will be in the description below but you can text her yeah text the word advice to 503-751-8731 and then just click the link and subscribe yep it does cost uh just a little bit of money but your first two weeks are free yeah um and i think that was really great advising we advised we did advice yeah. and um now that the advising is over, we have something new and exciting that we're going to unveil. Yeah, we're going to do some segments. W- yeah, we have a s- we have a segment. We actually started believe? this first one, I think, a couple weeks ago. We did this the dear we did Miss Manners. Mhm. Yeah, but we're like where I respond to other people's advice mm-hmm. columns. We did that once. We did. And then I ended up having to cut out the rest of the <laughs> the rest of the podcast. We sure did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That was So it became a podcast. It sure did. Um, but today we're gonna do smash or pass let's do smash or pass we're gonna do smash or pass can you believe it um lizzie would you like to go first would would we like to do our smash what we're gonna what we're in this case we're gonna call smash or pass things we're gonna smash say things we like we'd like to smash (laughs) we like to smash which are things we like (laughs) things we're currently liking things we're currently vibing with yeah and then pass is things we're not currently liking slash vibing with yeah would I'm going to like tell you, yeah. yeah, I was actually just showing Destiny this thing before we started, mm-hmm. which is an iPhone hack that yeah. my friend showed me. It's not much of a hack, but you can set your iPhone wallpaper to change pictures every hour mm-hmm. and you can select like the face of a person, which, yeah, okay, this is terrifying that your iPhone knows all your friends and your children, You're your child there, specifically. So I have it set to um, Nona's face. And so every hour if I pick up my phone, I see a new picture of Nona. And some of them are like baby Nona. Some are a little more recent. So cute. Well, sorry. Um, it's a constant joy. <laughs> Highly recommend. I love Smash. that. <laughs> Smash. So cute. Um, What about you? My Smash is a piece of media content called the show is called a discovery of witches the first book in the trilogy also called a discovery of witches started watching the show i'm really terrible about consuming new content i will watch the same kind of content over and over and over not the exact same thing but like i watch a lot of youtube it's short form content sure Um, i just watched iron man 3 for the like 18th time love that yeah yeah yeah. i don't like um you know when you watch like television like fictional shows and stuff you gotta like get emotionally invested and we already talked i got some mental health problems and you know what when you're depressed you just don't have extra emotions to give um so this is i'm into fantasy and stuff like that this is like (laughs) i was trying to explain to my roommate so it, it hits every ridiculous trope so let me just tell you okay season one this woman is a historian Mm. come to find out i'm not really gonna spoil anything for you yeah. come to find out she's a very powerful witch she didn't oh. know okay oh, wow. cool forbidden romance with oh. a vampire oh no yeah listen this is i know that this is this is the perfect cringe content for for october so if you're into this content this okay. is what you want to watch so okay. we're gonna link to this uh-huh so season one is this know, a youtube show no no no. no. Okay. this is like a show this is on hbo max okay. and okay. it's okay. from a series a trilogy of books so okay so you know we have this forbidden romance there's all this drama whatever mm-hmm. okay mm-hmm. Season two, so you you don't think it's going to get any better or hit any more of these tropes. Season two, they travel back into time, into 1590. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> so we're like, you know. Yeah, amazing. Tudor, Queen Elizabeth era. So it's, you know. I love back in time. Personally. Like this is, yeah, this is, it's really hitting, hitting every trope that you would love to see and read. And um, so I started reading the book as well. Um, and I'm, I'm a pretty avid reader. And so I'm 
I'm already pretty far through the first book, so I'll continue I'm reading. Yeah, so smash to that. I love that for you. Thank you so much. Yeah, cool. Okay, and then do you have a pass? My pass right now is um, a person. <laughs> <laughs> I <laughs> I was gonna say sorry, but this person doesn't know me, and I don't know them. Joe Jonas, not real Ugh. high on my list no. right now. I'm not like super into celebrity gossip, but mm. I am on the internet right. very right. intensely just for my job mm-hmm. and also because you know I'm you're a, a human I'm a person on sure planet earth in 2023 yeah who uses social media um you know the whole divorce between joe jonas and um sophie turner right now is like very strange and i'm watching kind of how it's unfolding and international conventions are getting thrown about he was like withholding the children from her Ugh. saying that they were never going to move to england and now there's like this letter that he allegedly penned many months ago saying they were moving to england so he was lying wow. withholding the children from her She's in her 20s. It doesn't really seem like she should be going through this. No. So pass Joe Pass Jonas. on Joe Jonas. Yeah, I think we can all. We can yeah. All he also has that. like a real history of, I mean, I don't know if it's him, the individual, but maybe his PR team mm-hmm. um, has a history of uh, blaming women for a lot of things. There's a lot of, if you, in a lot of, you know, mm-hmm. celebrity news sources have aggregated this. Mm-hmm as they're looking back on him like blaming women for losing his virginity and <laughs> doing drugs and all sorts mm-hmm. of things as he's come up through you know in the you know social media right. eye i was never a, a jonas brothers fan i'm a little too old i'm for far that. too old for that so yeah so um i was <laughs> never like team i don't know did they pick teams <laughs> for the I brothers or something I, like? was joe the like lesser jonas anyway but i don't even know i think kevin is the least of them okay He's the, <laughs> the least of them imagine being the least of the I jonas mean, brothers not, yeah i didn't mean that but you no, know i, mean, I like, understand what you mean. he was the joe he's the, i think he's the most attractive of mm. them joe is i think so okay, and then what's the other one nick Nick, yeah, he's I married just think to Nick Priyanka. and Joe, yeah. Chopra. Yeah, he's a little more age appropriate. Incredibly beautiful. Yeah. Anyways, so um, pass on Joe Jonas. Pass uh, on we Joe stand Jonas. the queen of the north. Yes, yeah. abs. That's the thing. Yeah. Sansa Stark. Sansa Stark. Come on, get it together. Anyway. Um. Okay. Let's see. I um was thinking uh about a pass, and I just I, I'm gonna say the um the Toy Story football NFL game that happened this Sunday. I don't know if anyone else Toy knows about Story? this. It's funny because the NFL just got their biggest um, hit in a while with Taylor Swift co- That's coming the to NFL only games. Thing I know about the NFL. Yeah, but pr- I'm sure previously, I'm sure this the whole thing like cost a ton of money and it was like a huge thing. But on Sunday at like six thirty in the morning, they like there was a football game happening in London. It was an NFL football game. They do some in London, I guess. Yeah, I and they animated the whole thing like Toy Story. And I watched a few minutes of this Did because it have my child. Did Jaguars? I don't know. The Jacksonville Jaguars sometimes play in London. I'm sorry. No, no. I, um, I don't get it. I think. Well, I think it's like a ploy to get kids into football because nobody sure. like. I think they did. Yeah. Okay. I'm sorry. So I don't. I don't really know much about it. All I know is that I had to watch like a little bit of it because <laughs> my husband likes football. Okay. I am so against football, like in general, because yeah. I don't think it's uh, good. I don't think giving people head injuries is good. I think it's violence and it takes super advantage of people of color and it's just messed up on so many levels. I I'm don't also like against paying football. people that much money to run around so we can watch. Th- it's just like right. it's modern day um, gladiators. Yeah. Gladiators, yeah. But but the thing is like, yes, yeah, some people get paid a lot of money. Mm-hmm. A lot of people don't. Mm-hmm. The people who are like... And um, they still get the head injuries. Yes. Mm-hmm. Most of the people get head injuries are like are never going to play in the NFL or if they even play in the NFL, it's like they're like on the practice squad. They don't mm-hmm. get paid very much. It's, it's super problematic on so many levels and I don't like football and I don't think kids should be watching it and I don't think they should make it into toy story, which I had to watch this weekend <laughs> <That is laughs> for like so just two minutes. Wild. Then we went back to bluey. But um, anyway, that's insane. I mean, it's a real high tech thing that they did. I'm sure. Cause it was like, live animated and i also thought it was very funny because clearly the taylor swift thing just so eclipsed their very expensive like ploy to get people into the nfl and that was zero dollars a lot of dads watching with their sons this toy story oh yeah certainly i'm sure they were and it was dumb i'll also pass on the nfl with you thanks yeah pass nfl pass on the nfl 
Um, if people have thoughts about that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and as I'm sure yeah, they I'm sure will. Yeah, I'm sure you do. Text me the word advice to <laughs> 503 at 751-8731. And then click the link and subscribe. Yeah, absolutely. I think this was an incredible podcast. Let us know if you have any segment ideas. If yeah. uh, you liked the Smasher Pass, if you want us to bring back the Miss Manners segment where yeah. Liz, you respond with, I would say, 21st century advice to <laughs> some of these other advice givers. No yeah, offense. Yeah, we're going to do other advice columns too, I think. Yeah. Like, not just Miss Manners, but like Dear Abby. Yeah. She recently had one that I disagreed with. We had a whole conversation about that. We sure did. Um, so, yeah, let us know. Thank you so much for listening. We really yes, appreciate you. Thank, thank you for chatting with me today, Lizzie. I really thank appreciate it. It's it. great to see you as always, Destiny. Yes. And also, happy birthday. Thank if you, you so want to wish Destiny happy birthday, because this comes out on her birthday, you should like tweet her, call her, high five her. Um, she's great. And Thank I'm you. super glad you're going to be 31. I think Do your 30s it. are a great, a great decade. Thank you so much. I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Only up from here. <laughs> it's so. only up. Yeah. Thank you. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Thanks for listening to Why Though the Podcast. Listen to other episodes and read my column at OregonLive.com slash why though. You can support us by leaving a five-star review or heading over to OregonLive.com slash pod support.